our work with Rotary started about three years ago, the first time we went to Bangkok, Thailand, for the Rotary International Convention, and started talking to Rotary clubs around the world, actually, about packaging meals. Because it's a phenomenal way to bring new members in to Rotary. Our first Rotary packaging, I think, was in New York. We had 34 Rotary clubs that came together. And we packaged 100,000 meals, and we're doing it again this year. So our connection with Rotary is growing. Uh, this event that we had today here in Des Moines was a tremendous success. One of the neat things about our packaging events, you hardly ever see anybody go out the door that's not smiling. This is our, this is the first big packaging that we've had here at the warehouse. And it is so wonderful because it has brought all of the Rotarians from Des Moines. The different clubs have come together for this packaging. This brings communities together. It brings the country together. We're here to serve all of humanity, and this can do it. Well, it's a great day. Uh, it's really exciting to see so many Rotarians come together in the spirit of doing something for our local community, get a little sweat equity involved in helping to uh, help folks that are less fortunate than we are. We appreciate the opportunity. We appreciate outreach uh, facilitating today. I want to especially thank all the other club presidents um, who got behind this and the leadership provided through our club by Kyle McCormick and Jamie Borsman. Thank you. When you look at uh, food insecurity in the state of Iowa, particularly in central Iowa, Polk County and surrounding counties, um, it's just amazing how many folks don't have um, the abundance of food. Uh, but our public service, our community service committee, was looking for an opportunity to um, do something meaningful that engaged Rotarians. <laughs> It's wonderful to be from the breadbasket of the world. It's so it's such a great experience for Rotarians to be together, to have fellowship, and to practice our motto, which is service above self. <laughs> The uh, Rotary Club of Des Moines was looking for new community service projects. It was brought up to us that we have one of the greatest resources in Iowa to team up with in our own club, Floyd and Kathy Hammer. So it just made sense to try to do a food pack with them and get the other metro clubs involved. And, and I'm really happy we were able to do it at the warehouse. I think Outreach Inc. has a lot of great services. People don't even realize the gym that we have that we're providing the rest of the world here. I'd just uh, really like to thank the uh, Rotary Clubs and your guys' efforts today. Outreach Inc. really made this happen beyond what I think Rotary could have done on its own. So It's very gratifying and rewarding to see all of the packages of food and the boxes that are going out and knowing that we have helped a lot of central Iowans who are hungry. Oh, I think the camaraderie of seeing young people, Rotarians, non-Rotarians, um, Drake, basketball team players, they were all working together as a team and doing good. And it was just a warm environment and really exciting to watch and be a, a participant of. Uh, it was fun to be able to see the Rotary clubs almost compete with each other a little bit to get a number of boxes out, but a lot of smiles, a lot of happy folks. It's uh, it's, it's fun to be able to do something that matters uh, and to be able to know this goes to folks in, in Iowa, to folks that, that, that need this. But uh, I heard a lot of folks said, I'm back next year and I'm bringing friends. So I uh, certainly encourage folks to be able to take the opportunity to be able to come out and package meals for outreach. We've worked hard to bring the Rotary Clubs of Des Moines together to do something um, in Central Iowa with all these great clubs, Indianola, Winterset, all of them. So we've done it. We're excited. And now we're going to feed Central Iowa. I think it was a successful day. We had the, all the Metro Rotary Clubs work together and had feet on the ground to do some real work. <laughs> On November 8, 2013, Typhoon Haiyan smashed the Philippine Islands, killing over 6,000 people and leaving millions homeless and hungry. The need for nutritious food was overwhelming as the survivors began to recover. Today we're loading 
a portion of the 1.48 million meals that are going to the Philippines. We're sending two meals over there. We're sending our international specific meal, which is a rice casserole, and then we're also sending some rice and bean meal over there. Rotary clubs in the Philippines. There was uh, food available to be shipped, but um, containers and shipping uh, cost money. Uh, Floyd put out the call, and uh, the Rotary Club of Des Moines, of which I am the president, uh, responded to that by reaching out to other clubs, but um, very successful members um, felt the, uh, the call and responded um, uh, very generously. Well, we're just happy to be able to help in this very small way, uh, but hopefully uh, looking forward to no more natural disasters, but at least helping outreach. So there are 21,000 Rotarians in the Philippines, and that compares to the 4,000 that are just in our district in Iowa, Rotary District 6,000. This project meets the Rotary four-way test in spades. Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendship? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? If you would like to involve your Rotary Club to engage your community in practical ways to feed the hungry, either overseas or here in the United States, please call or write us today. By putting service above self, together we make a difference.